Well, wine, anyone? It's a big event for an even bigger cause. It's returning to the Valley for a third year. On May 20th, the Just One Project is hosting their premier fundraising event on Cloud Wine. Yes, they're Southern Nevada's <laughs> largest mobile food pantry, and they distribute groceries to more than 20,000 food insecure residents every month. Brooke Neubauer, CEO and founder of the Just One Project, joins <laughs> us now. Hi, Hello. Brooke. Hello. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be here. Yes, wonderful. So, Brooke, tell us what the purpose <laughs> is behind this event. Absolutely. So, fundraising, nonprofits, we need funds to do what we do and carry out our missions. So, this is really to bring everybody together that supports the Just One Project um, and new people that are not aware of the Just One Project that want to come out and support an amazing, um, an amazing event for an incredible cause. It is an incredible cause. You're coming Thank up you. on 10 years. I think I it's know, Southern it's Nevada's fastest growing nonprofit. You've done amazing work, Brooke. Thank you. We have such an amazing team. Um, just to share our growth with you, two years ago we had just over 10 staff and now we have 58 incredible humans working wow. at the Just One Project. Wow. Selfless, amazing, just amazing people that are so cause driven. Mm. Great. Mm -hmm. What can people expect from the Cloud9 event? Uh, so Sorry, the Cloud1 no, event. No, you're good. You're good. <laughs> By the end of it, people will be calling it Cloud9. Yeah, they'll be like, I'm on Cloud9 right now. I'm just in the cloud. Yes, yes. yes. That one. I think one of the coolest things about the event is going to be a private concert by the Spasmatics. Yes. Which, if you're it's 80s. 80s. <laughs> yes. Yes. They're so cool. I'm Love a big, it. I'm a kid of the 80s, so anything 80s for me, um, I'm there. But, um, that and amazing wine uh, by Johnson Brothers, and mm. uh, they're one of our amazing sponsors. And also, just incredible food. We have a total foodie on staff who has just planned this entire amazing menu. Look Ooh. at this photo. I mean, talk oh, about seriously. foodies right there. Oh, um, I see Pink Box in that one. <laughs> yes, Pink Box. How can you get over? It's Pink Box is so delicious. This year, we're going to have caramel apples, <gasps> which yes. is super exciting. That's, how beautiful. Can we talk about Jerry Stanley? Oh, my God. Gosh, good human. He's such a good human. So Jerry Stanley has came to us about two years ago and said, I wanted to start giving back and I really want to make a difference in the life of other people, but I want to do it in such a deeper way. Um, how Can you be my giving back Sherpa, my charity Sherpa? And I was like, yes, oh. Jerry Stanley, I will be that. So his friends call him Cosmic Jerry because he's so like, he's just a big manifester. He's just so in tune with like what other people need and just all these amazing things. So we did this Cosmic Jerry Fund. And so every time it runs out, he <laughs> donates $25,000 into this fund. And then we have mm. a few months to use this for things that we don't have grant funding for. Typically, so just recently we, pro we paid a water bill for a mom of two kids who oh, had gone wow. without water in her home for two months. Could you oh imagine? Goodness. So, oh goodness, you know, yeah. the bill was so large. She didn't have the proper ID. There was just so many layers of why she couldn't get help. Mm -hmm. um, and we were able to call the water company and really just kind of help um, on her behalf and get that water bill paid. So it's just for situations like that or yeah. somebody who needs um, their car fixed so they can make it to work. Yes. There are things that nonprofits aren't easily able to to pay for mm -hmm. so those cosmic dairy funds help us when we don't have grant funding for it so wow. you find that deserving individual mm -hmm. yeah they then, they reach yeah. out so we have uh, we have 12 case managers on staff mm -hmm. and what their job is all day is just to connect with the community and figure out what their needs are to help them get back on their feet Awesome. Wow, isn't that Brooke, amazing? So impactful, Thank the work you. you guys are doing, truly. Thanks. So, if people want to go to this event. Yes. How do they do it? They can just visit thejustoneproject.org. Super easy. It's awesome because it's the first thing that comes up. It says <laughs> on Cloud Wine. Yeah. And tickets are available. <laughs> <from> <laughs> yeah, we kind of like force that, right? Yeah. Uh, tickets are um, as low as 250 bucks. And mm -hmm. honestly, it's going to such an amazing cause. Um, I think that if you're lucky enough to live in a zip code in which you have groceries completely accessible and so easy, mm -hmm. then go to these events and, and help pay it forward and kind of, you know, support agencies like us that provide food and security services. 100%. We just love what you're doing. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, You're doing so much. And your pop-ups too, the pop-up and give yes. events. Yes. It's Wonderful. 
we are so lucky to be able to connect with the community. There is no, there is no greater feeling than knowing that you going into the community exactly where the people are that need your services, you just know you are where you're supposed to be. And we have over 500 volunteers every pop up and give Saturday collectively over multiple locations. So it's just such a powerful day together. Yeah. Yes. Well, yeah. Brooke, Excellent. thank you so mm. much for coming in this thank morning. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's wonderful it. talking yes. with you. Thank you. Um, and uh, you can find tickets and everything else you need to know at thejustoneproject.org.